Throughout this chapter, we'll continue learning about using our final 3D images for analysis. In this MedMastery lesson, I'll discuss using 3D echocardiography to evaluate the left atrium. Let's first review how you measure the left atrium on 2D echo. Here you can see the left atrium being measured. A normal left atrial area is less than 20 cm squared, and a normal anterior posterior diameter ranges from 2 to 4 cm. Note that the anterior posterior diameter is an insensitive parameter of left atrial dilatation because the left atrium is constrained between the sternum and the spine, so its ability to expand in this direction is limited. In addition, left atrial remodeling involves not only a chamber enlargement, but also a change in shape. Therefore, geometrical assumptions that make 2D echo an accurate method to calculate left atrial volume in normal atria may not apply in a similar way to dilated atria. A dilated left atrium with a volume greater than 34 milliliters per meter squared is an independent predictor of atrial fibrillation, heart failure, ischemic stroke, and death. Let's look at how we assess left atrial dilatation in 3D echo. Left atrial size can be appreciated with 3D imaging continuously throughout the cardiac cycle. The left ventricle can also be seen here. Here you can see the left atrium has a maximum volume of 33 milliliters and a minimum volume of 14 milliliters. Note that atrial fibrillation is essential to keep in mind when imaging the left atrium. Due to the underlying rhythm problem in atrial fibrillation, it's important to use more beats, ideally six, to generate a good quality 3D image. Also keep in mind that thrombi are a common complication of atrial fibrillation. Here is a transesophageal 3D echo volume rendering of the left atrium, showing a large thrombus in proximity to the left atrial appendage orifice. Abnormal masses can also develop in the left atrium. 2D echo only provides limited views of left atrial masses. Here we see the four chamber view. Here we see the long axis view. It often does not allow a clear visualization of the insertion point of the mass. 3D echo multiplanar reconstruction and volume rendering allow appreciation of the mass size, shape, and insertion of the septal, inferior, and inferior lateral left atrial walls. Proper rotation and cropping allow the assessment of mass size, shape, and relationship with surrounding structures. On this 3D echo video, you can see septal insertion, which is key in discriminating left atrial myxoma from other masses. In conclusion, when assessing the left atrium, 3D echo can be a powerful tool. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.